Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joel George, and this is a short presentation on the Scandinavian Airlines Flight 751 incident. First, I will give you a short introduction which relates to the incident which happened on the day, the events that led up to the accident, communication and ethical breaches, then the final outcome of the case. On December 27, 1991, Flight 751 was being prepared for takeoff from the Arlanda Stockholm Airport in Sweden, destined for Copenhagen. Crew members consisted of Captain Stefan Rasmussen, First Officer Ulf Sidermark, and flight attendant Ingrid Astrom. Removal of ice from the wings was underway, and it was performed twice to ensure no ice was left on the wings. Shortly after takeoff from the airport, explosions were heard coming from the engines as they began gaining altitude. Since all sensors were fine, the pilots reduced thrust to try to rectify the situation. Instead, the system responded by increasing thrust. Eventually, both engines were lost and both pilots had to be assisted by Captain Pa Homburg, who walked into the co cockpit, which Rasmussen always left open. An emergency landing had to be done in an open field in the countryside of Sweden. Upon crash landing, the main body of the aircraft broke into three. Luckily, everyone survived with no fatal injuries. Pa Homburg suffered a, suffered a broken collarbone because he did not make it back in time to buckle up before impact. Fuel left in the tank in the wings caused ice to form on the areas of the wings due to the low temperatures the aircraft was exposed to the night before. Even though Captain Rasmussen and ground personnel had inspected the wing by visual observation from the front, they could not see the ice at the back. The position of the, the engines are situated at the back of the aircraft. Thus, after the ice broke off during flight, pieces end up getting sucked into the engine, resulting in surges. Pilots are instructed to throttle down during surges, but upon throttling down, the system responded by increasing thrust. This was the automatic thrust restoration system, which was implemented. The pilots had no idea about the system or the they, they, they were not trained to handle this system. Scandinavian Airlines routine check for ice was not adequate as clear ice could not be seen and an actual physical check of the wing would be the only way to ensure that there wasn't any more ice left on the wing after the icing. Failure of Scandinavian Airlines to identify that the, the icing methods was unsatisfactory resulted in a crash which could have been prevented. Captain Rosier of leaving the door to the cockpit open was a poor choice as anyone could enter and attempt to put everyone aboard the plane in danger. Or someone panicked and ran into the cockpit to try to save their own life because of how scared they were. These could all lead to potential accidents. Leaving the door open resulted in Pa Humberg leaving his seat to enter the cockpit because he saw the two pilots looking confused and he wanted to offer assistance as an experienced pilot. If Rasmussen had the door closed, Pa Humboldt probably wouldn't have sustained a broken collarbone. Important system modifications made by the manufacturer was never forwarded to Scandinavian Airlines, so pilots didn't know about an automatic system which would increase thrust if they decelerated during takeoff. This system was implemented because pilots always throttle down, sometimes during takeoff to allow for a smoother ride. Throttling down to dangerous levels could result in a crash, and this safety measure was implemented. If the pilots had been able to throttle down, the engines wouldn't have lost power and the aircraft could have returned to Stockholm. Failure to communicate important changes between the manufacturers and airlines resulted in a crash that could have been fatal. Captain Rasmussen was locked in a state of confusion since he was never trained to deal with this kind of situation. Communication between pilots was poor because Captain Rasmussen was too busy trying to figure out what was going on with his plane and not trying to communicate information between the two so that they could ensure that the plane could be landed somewhere safely. 
Scandinavian decision to allow the press to interview Captain Rasmussen before investigation was also a poor one because in the public eye he was viewed as a hero but what if he were if the reason for the crash was due to the captain not following a safety procedure procedure or safety guidelines in case of certain emergencies the final outcome of the case a physical check for clear ice where the pilot slash ground personnel are required to touch the surface of the wing to ensure that no layers of ice remain after de-icing was implemented by Scandinavian Airlines. Pilots were retrained to use the automatic thrust reduction system to avoid a similar accident from occurring.